Stop trying to figure out my life. Stop doing that to me. I will get there. No, I'm not old. My body is still able, but my mind is mentally not. So stop trying to rush me into doing something that I cannot. Period. Let people figure out your whole life. Only you know what's real and you know what's not. So don't worry about it. Keep fighting the fight. Now, go find you a local food pantry and get you some pantries, girl. I mean, get you some food out that pantry, girl. Okay? High five. Well, hello. Good morning, uh, busy moms. Let me bag up. Let me get this together so nobody won't think that I'm um, being destructive by driving and I'm just backing in. Okay, so <clears throat> good morning, busy moms. It's your busy mom, Nishira on the go, and I am back here with another video, guys. So today we are running some errands, going for a walk, getting some groceries from the food bank. I don't know, I thought I was about to flow, but I could. <laughs> well, first, let's start off with saying welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I am a married single mother of seven children, guys. I still have six in the home. Our family was homeless for five years, four years ago. See, this math ain't been math and right. Okay, but we'll be almost in, in our place for two years now. However, that works, okay? However, um, oh yeah, then it'll be right. Okay, I think that's because we're in half. However, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this part in there. Um, I'm, I'm now at the food bank. I have some boxes that's already in my car. I have to rearrange this. And guys, we still got to go get this car back. We back to a stream filthy car again, okay? Not as bad, but it's still bad. Um, I do have some boxes of goodies already in the car. Let me show you guys. I didn't realize this is how much stuff I was getting. So these are some mini brownie cakes, chocolate chip. And they're small individuals for sandwiches. So it's eight in a pack. But when my brother's girlfriend asked me, did I want some? I thought she meant just this, a whole loaf. So I told her to save me three or four. <laughs> I didn't know she meant three or four boxes. So we have this in the car. I'm very thankful. So I have ideas to do with a lot of these. I am going to give one to um, a family. So... Um, I have some goods here. I'm getting ready to park in the car. I'm going to leave the camera rolling so you guys can see as I load the car up. You won't be able to really see what I have, but you'll get in, you'll see what I'm putting in the car. So let's get into this video. That just make it worse. Okay, so <clears throat> it's over. Okay, so the way my life is set up today, I am on the move and I gotta go walking. So I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what I have as I put it in the car. Hopefully that'll be the same as doing a haul. I know it's not, but I have to go drop this off to her. So Now, we do have different types of bread. So, we have the bakery rolls, and we have two of those. I'm going to put these here for now. We have English muffins, hot dog buns, and some bagels. Now, in this crate, we got Cool Whip, two big ones. We have one thing of dressing. We have some chicken breast. 
and some dry salami. We have three cartons of eggs. We have um, three of these family sized tortellini, tortellini um, pastas. Now some of this stuff I'm keeping and then some I'm taking to her. And then <clears throat> we have um, uncured maple honey, honey maple ham. And we have like three of these. And then we have some pull apart garlic bread. They only had two, so this is mine for sure. And then a jar of pickles. So that's what this crate is. Give me a second. I always have so much going on in my car. Now, I'm going to need you to move. My sister gave me this, and I don't want it, but I don't want to be me. So we do have salads, a spring mix, and a baby romaine. And I did get um, two, four, seven. more English muffins. Now, I'm not keeping these, and I've never had these, but we have spin wheels. We have two of those. I'm going to give to my friend and her son. A lot of people that I help as families that was at the shelter. We have bags of um, beef teriyaki, beef jerky, the Korean barbecue season one. Now, my kids going to want these, so I'm going to keep these. And in this crate, I have some fudge rounds. I've never heard of this one. That's going to her. We have some olive oil. We have three of those. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to give one to my sister. And I'm going to give one to her. We have dried cranberries. We have some boxes of the no-bake bites cookie dough. I'm not keeping that. We have cheese crackers. And some Chinese Szechuan. Szechuan? I don't know how to pronounce it. Some stir fry sauce and then some bacon barbecue sauce, bourbon barbecue sauce. And then I think my sister may want some of these, but I'm not keeping these. I don't cook stove top, but we have this big box of stove top. We have this big jug of water. It's cold. I need to drink this right now. We have two of those. Woo. We have one of these. Woo. Okay, so here's the hard part. Let me fix it. Let me do something. So we have one pack of the carne picada, picada, fish sticks, two things of sliced ham lean. I've never heard of this, so two of those. This is mine. I'm keeping this. So some bacon center cut hickory smoke, thick cut. Mine. Pork sausage, turkey hot dogs, and some honey roasted turkey breast. Some uncured hard salami. This is mine. I only found one, but some hamburger patties. 
a fully cooked rotisserie chicken frozen. And a fully cooked lemon pepper flavor. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Some turkey breast cutlets. Turkey breast cutlets. Some uncured beef patties. Uh, hot dogs. Some blazing buffalo chicken sauces. Now, this sounds a little interesting. Some boneless ch ch chimichurro. Chimichurri. Boneless chicken skinless chicken with the season already on it. Cube steak. Tilapia filet. Some uncured ham and some honey ham steak. <clears throat> and a whole chicken, guys. Now, let me go take this back, and we're going to get in the car and talk. Lean back. Whew. All right, so we are done. And it feels good. It really feels good <clears throat> to be able to help some other families out. <clears throat> and I can't always give to them monetarily, monetary, monetary givings. But when I do, when I have an extra dollars, but I make sure I budget, um, a few dollars a month to give to someone who is in need or who asks or whatever. I definitely make sure I do that. But <clears throat> food wise, yes, I will be able to help you. Okay. Okay. Let's turn that up. So guys, I'm getting ready to start driving. I don't want to get in trouble. I will see you guys at the next destination. I hope this is a good enough haul because I do want to take her to stuff while some of it's still cold, frozen or whatever. I don't want it to go bad by sitting in the car. <clears throat> so I will talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? <clears throat> okay, let me give you a little word of encouragement because <clears throat> I have found that I've been getting a little really ridiculed over there on TikTok. And that's okay. And a little bit over here on YouTube. But here's the thing. Let me tell someone who may feel embarrassed who may be a little apprehensive about going to get help and expressing it on social media. Um, there's nothing wrong with needing help. There's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong that you went through something and now you're needing to um, get assistance. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody goes through something. Now, your comeback may not be as fast or as strong as someone else's, but never let anyone tear you down. Never let anyone keep you down. So I get these groceries, one for my family and two for other families. I've always been the type that love to help and give back. I've always been that type, except for when I was going through and there were times when I was able to help. So never let anyone discourage you. Never let what you're going through discourage you because you will come out. It may not be the way you want to or when you want to, but you will get out of it. It's a lot longer for others. Mentally, it took me out. So however you got to get yourself to where, wherever it is you're trying to get to, hey, handle your business. Don't let anyone discourage you. Just keep 
freaking going. Or should I say keep fucking going? going. Don't stop. Keep fucking going because the fight is not easy. Going through what you're going through is not easy. It's not meant to be easy because if somebody handed you something and it was easy, you're not going to appreciate it. You're not going to, um, you're not going to, um, nurture it. You're not going to love it. You're not going to be grateful for it because you didn't have to work hard for it. And I know this, I can say this because it was me at once upon a time. It was me at once upon a time. And so I want to say that because us, especially as mothers, we get it hard. Nobody told you to have all them kids. Nobody told you to do this or that. You should be married. You, 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 whatever. Nobody knows what you're actually going through unless you actually tell them. So let people believe whatever it is they want to believe. Let people figure out your whole life. Only you know what's real and you know what's not. So don't worry about it. Keep fighting the fight. Now, go find you a local food pantry and get you some pantries, girl. I mean, get you some food out that pantry, girl. Okay? High five. All right. Let me go in here, take care of some business, or see if I can get some business taken care of before it sees, and then I'll be back, guys. Oh, okay. So now I just left out of four C's and I am going to see if I can get four C's started back for the kids. I had got approved um, sometime almost a year ago and he told me if I can find someone by, oh, let me park. If I can find someone by July, um, then I wouldn't have to reapply. Even though I'm already in the system, I wouldn't have to reapply all the way over. Now, I don't know if assistance is still available, but Everything will happen at your own time and people will ridicule you about not working. All these other things just to satisfy their needs. So I have some brothers who, well, especially one brother, who have my life figured out just like these people online have my life figured out. Now, once upon a time, no, I was not going through this. No, I was not. But now I am. And mentally, it took me out. Now, people forget where they come from. <laughs> People forget they already went through something. And when you go through it younger, it's different from when you go through it older. Even though I didn't go through much stuff when I was younger, it's I went through it older. I could see, I know the difference. I'm not stupid. Mentally, you're younger. You can bounce back from it. You're not going through life yet. So stop trying to figure out my life. Stop doing that to me. I will get there. No, I'm not old. My body is still able, but my mind is mentally not. So stop trying to rush me into doing something that I cannot. Period. Now y'all go get y'all some stuff. I'm not playing. You quit letting these people tell y'all, dictate y'all life. Stop it. Mm -mm. So guys, I have made it back into the house and I am getting ready to season up my chicken. So there was a change of plans. My sister has some things to do. I have things to do, so I guess we'll start our walk tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm going to put some clothes in the washing machine. I really have decided not to start washing in the middle of the day, but because we are behind, baby, let me show you. Look how high up it's stacked. Yeah, I got to put at least one load in. I don't do nothing else. We're going to get one load. This one is done.
All right. Woo, this baba is working today. I got all the energy. And I'm sure glad I got some. So we're going to put some liquid smoke. And it's so beautiful outside. I need to get the charcoal and take this to the grill. But I don't want to take this little bitty amount of chicken to the to the park to grill. But if I had a whole bunch of chicken, I know I took this case out, but I think I'm gonna smack that back in the refrigerator. Or should I just? Go? I might as well just go. On. I don't feel like cleaning another pack. But I guess I could have it already red. Well, no, I might want to fry that chicken. Okay, I had to fix the camera because I didn't realize it wasn't showing enough. But that was just my sister just calling. And we were inquiring about some puppies, some dogs or whatever. But I don't want one that will get big. And um, I know my children are asking about it. But whenever, whatever dog I decide to get, when I decide to get it, baby, that thing got to already be trained. Uh-uh. I, I done did enough of pissy diapers, pissy flows, pissy bed. Still kind of going through that. Nobody got time for that. Uh-uh. So, and I also don't want a dog that's been abused or anything. Um, so she called the SBC or something like that. So, but the dog, the one dog they do have in one of the cities that she called, um, they only have a dog that's small now, but it will turn beef. I don't want no term beef. I want you to stay small, baby. Stay small. Before I decide to finish cleaning up, I do want to get some more um, food off to the lady. So I am going to take her this goldfish and these cookies and these peanuts. I'm gonna take her two boxes of these. I'm gonna give her these flat bread bites. I'm gonna take her two of these. Some Oreos. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And I forgot I got this box of cookies here. So, yeah. Let's get this one out. Ooh, my nose is itching. All right, so. Also, I forgot in this box right here, I have some tissue. So I'm gonna give her some tissue. Oh, and a roll of paper towel. Bam. So give me a second, guys. I'm gonna pull my car a little closer and then we out the door. Um, why these people be mad at you because you pulled in front of your house and they act like they don't have room to get by. You got all the room to go by, boy, please. Did you enjoy your music last night? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, he out here grooving. Yeah, I had a good little smoke with that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yep. All right. Oh, do you? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to head to the Philippines and uh, we're going to go to the Valley. I can't wait for my turn. Ooh. I'm about to work on my passport. My friend was like, can you please work on the passport? So I'm going to work on that. Okay. Now I need my bag and my food. And I'm ready to go. Do I? I think I got everything. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we are in the car. Loaded up. And we are getting ready to head to her house. And guys, I will see you there. Oh, wait, my earrings. 
I've been trying to figure out what was different about my... I have been putting on narrow piece of earring in my ear. I'm not going back in that house. I'm not hiking up the stairs. We out.